partially a little bit to make it to How to go save the turtle, guys. You're <laughs> great. <laughs> Everybody, thank you for being here. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and liking the video if you enjoy it. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the anabolic diet and why it's just not for me. If you're not familiar with the anabolic diet, it's essentially taking all of the foods that we know and we love, but changing them so that they're lower calorie, higher in protein. The irony behind all this, if you've been on my channel for a while, making those types of foods is, is how I even got started on this channel in the first place and how I built up my audience. So let's go down memory lane. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. As you probably know, I'm going to be moving into my very first cut, which is a little bit frightening given my appetite. So I know for a fact, I'm gonna have to find foods that fill me up. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself. I was able to get these three pancakes almost the same size. Usually I'm way off. And this is vanilla Greek yogurt, not plain Greek yogurt, because that stuff is disgusting. So we have that, and then we have a hot dog bun full of bacon, because it's been one of those kinds of days already. And in less than 10 minutes, you've got yourself some beautiful pizza waffles with some pizza broccoli, as I've shown you guys before. <sighs> Also keep in mind that there is so much protein powder in this, it, it, this whole recipe is dependent on how that tastes. So don't use a crappy tasting protein or this will taste like crap. Don't blame me. You guys know my only recommendation is PES. So this huge salad bowl is halfway full and it's only 300 calories. If you're looking at real pasta, you're talking about you know 12, 1400. So to that, I am actually gonna add some deli meat. This is just some roast beef, of course. And then we'll just do a little bit of marinara. And this is about the consistency that you want. So now what we're gonna do is throw it into the microwave for one minute. It's only 130 calories, four grams of carbs. Everyone has a sweet tooth at one point or another. And this is a great solution for that if you're trying to count your calories. To get this much food for only this many calories, uh, you're not gonna find too many recipes like this one. So if you try this out, I can almost guarantee you like, especially, you know, tis the season of basicness. You guys gotta try pumpkin something or other. You can only have so many lattes, right? Now what's interesting is I started this channel back in 2014 and that is when I started making a lot of those videos. So I don't know, maybe I'm just a trendsetter. This was before anyone had ever heard of an anabolic diet per se. We just had, you know, different names for it. It's kind of interesting to see how these trends always come back around and it helped a lot of people. It helped myself. I really, really enjoyed it. And every single week I get countless requests to do video, do videos on my version of the anabolic diet. So I just kind of want to talk about why I'm just not all that interested in it at this stage in my life. How to throw up our hands and walk off the job. And while we're going through the worst, you're getting in on the best. Uh, many of our congregation across the entire globe, this crisis, this trauma that we've all walked through together, that, that there would be this renewed interest in kind of spiritual things in the, uh, in the church. So I'm sure you guys are used to seeing this on my channel. We've got two Vital Farms eggs, one bagel with some honey. Now for me, I look forward to this meal so much. It's almost as good as a cheat meal. And I guess I could have combined some bread and some eggs and made like French toast, but Personally, I would just prefer to eat it just like this, and I'm getting the, the stink eye from Megan for ha having church service on mute, so I'll talk to you guys here in about 20 minutes. about the anabolic diet is that it is so freeing. It really empowers you to eat any food that you can imagine and make it fit within your macronutrients for the day. And I think for a lot of people, that is what they need. I've heard feedback from even friends of mine that said, hey, this is the diet that allows me to stay on track um, every single day. But for me, 
I hate cooking. But it wasn't always like that. When I first started out in the kitchen, I had so much fun with it. I would look forward to making new foods every single week. But over time, and maybe it was because it felt more like a job because I was making all these videos for YouTube, I just started to despise it. I couldn't even fathom the thought of making a new recipe, following instructions, trying to get creative. It was just more of a deterrent than anything. But you also have to keep in mind my specific circumstances. I work a very demanding career in corporate America and then I run this YouTube channel on the side so my time is extremely limited. I have a beautiful fiance, soon to be wife, who makes me delicious foods without me having to make them anabolic. So she can take a foods that I love, chicken, broccoli, and rice and make them taste delicious. And also just, my personality is very, very simplistic. I don't like to overcomplicate things. I like the very simple things in life. So for me, I can stick to my diet, eating chicken, broccoli, and rice, not having an issue with it. But for a lot of people, you know, that's not going to be the case. But what I love about this is that it doesn't matter which diet you prescribe to. It's going to be completely individual and it will shift over time. You might start with a diet like mine that's very basic and you might start to fall off and have to adhere to more of an anabolic diet to get back into things. Maybe in five years, I'm gonna need to go back to that. But at this stage in my life, what works for me and what I'm able to adhere to is sticking to the basics, whole quality, even natural foods, as hippie as that might sound, it's just what works best in my scenario. So as you can see, I love fruits. I love Vital Farms eggs. $5 a dozen, crazy. You could buy 99 cent dozen eggs and it would give you the exact same body composition. But for me, this type of food just makes me feel a little bit better. I eat a kale salad every single day. You guys get the picture. So for me, I eat in a way that's going to maximize my performance and certain foods just agree with me. And it'll be different for everyone. I know people that can eat you know, high protein ice cream pre-workout and be fine. For me, I'll get a little bit bloated, a little bit sluggish. So I try to stick to more whole foods. But during this workout, I start with penle rows because it's the most difficult exercise throughout this session. And then I'll move on to some more accessories. But these are killing me. So I did make it down to my goal weight of 178 pounds. As you can see, got some pretty good definition coming in. Nothing too crazy. If I wanted to get down leaner, I'd have to start incorporating some cardio. Uh, you know, obviously scaling the diet back down a little bit, but overall for the wedding, I'm pretty pleased with the way things are going. And like I said, I kind of just stuck to a very, very simplistic diet of chicken, beef, salad, vegetables, potatoes, that's really about it. And protein bars, I cannot forget protein bars. I'm not sure if these are considered anabolic or not, but this is my favorite protein bar in the world. Pea Science Select Protein, the chocolate peanut butter. It tastes like a Reese's cup, really helps curb any sweet tooth that I might have. Super solid macronutrients, seven fat, 20 carbs, and 15 protein. Maybe be a little bit shy for protein for some people, but for me, it is great. I love these bars and just some of the other supplements I got here. Uh, aminos, protein, multivitamin, and creatine. Uh, that's what I'll be taking. This will last me about a month and I cannot wait to get one of these for post-workout. What's up, buddy? You wanna say hi to YouTube? I miss seeing you. 
Oh, thank you, buddy. You know, like most things in life, I would say with your diet, it doesn't need to be absolute. So just because I don't follow an anabolic diet meal for meal, it doesn't mean that I'll incorporate what most people would consider an anabolic food into my day to day or every now and again. Perfect example, the one recipe that you all know me for is the poverty brownie. The same thing I've been eating every single night for the last four years. Now I would consider that, consider that somewhat of an anabolic recipe and I love it. I will probably eat it until the day that I die. But most of my meals, as y'all will see, are just traditional meals. to get some food. The other thing I was gonna mention about the anabolic diet is I see that it works well for people that might work from home, entrepreneurs, students, people that spend most of their free time at home. Because when you're like me and you're out and about, it's not the most convenient way of living. And it's a lot of times, it's not even practical. Uh, like when I'm at work, I mean, I'm running and gunning all day. So it's not like I can just, you know, bring a lot of that stuff with me since I'm working out of my car. Although you can always find a way if you really want to. So I prefer to find places out that still have very simple foods, you know, not McDonald's, not hamburgers and fries, but things that are just, again, just simple basic food. So we're gonna go to a place, it's just like Chipotle, chicken, rice, beans, you know, the staples. So you guys can tell it's just a pretty simple bowl with rice, beans, chicken, and pico. Of course, these anabolic chips, five grams of protein, zero carbs, zero fat per, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna enjoy this with my topo and then we'll be on to the next. So it wouldn't be a Sunday without a trip to Target. I don't know what it is with women and Target, but before we go in, I did wanna give a very special thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Movement. You guys know we've been working together for a very long time. They're the ones who make these nice sunglasses as well as this watch. You see this timepiece? I know what you're thinking. You're like, man, Travis be balling over here in this Chevy. He must have paid an arm and a leg for that. Well, I'm happy to tell you guys, these watches start around one. $100 and these sunglasses you can get them for around 65 bucks and they look like they cost a lot more but in addition to that y'all can save an additional 15% get free shipping and free returns and you go to movement.com slash Travis I'm gonna leave that linked down below I get so many compliments on their products I've been wearing them for years never had an issue with anything I love the way they look I love that they come at a very very affordable price and everyone that has purchased them has given me some very positive positive feedback. So again, I'm going to leave them linked down below. We really appreciate them sponsoring today's video. And now we get to go in and check out Target. This is the road right here where I saved that turtle this morning. I hope that little guy is doing all right. I mean, we're just driving by a turtle trying to cross the road. He's moving so slow. He needed a little bit of help. You better go find it. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's your sniff? What's your sniff? Is this what you sniff? That's right. If you guys are ever wondering what I do from four to six on Sundays, this is it right here. What do you think, buddy? I don't want to be on camera. What are you about to do? <laughs> Make dinner. <laughs> like I told you guys, I don't like to cook. So thankfully I have a beautiful cameraman that takes care of all of that for me. Although I don't think she's going to make me any anabolic food. What do you guys think? <laughs> see here we just have some regular pasta with vegetables and beef with a little bit of balsamic glaze on there Megan is always nice enough to make me food I don't think she would be nice enough to make me any of those special high protein snacks because we eat together as a family so it makes sense to eat the same meals now you guys know on Sundays, I like to have a little bit of dessert, and my preferred dessert is fat and weird cookies. Now, I could make some, you know, high protein, lower calorie protein cookies, but for me, I find a lot of times when I do that, it actually makes me crave the real thing even more. So it'd be better and lower calorie if I just ate the real thing, got the craving out of the way, and moved on with my life. <laughs> 
this is literally a chocolate cookie with M&Ms and melted chocolate in there. My goodness. Oh my gosh. That's not M&Ms. It's a Reese's cup with Reese's pieces. I have no words. And that is going to be the end of the video. The great part about it is it doesn't matter which diet you pick. The important part is that you can adhere to it and it fits within your lifestyle. So let me know your thoughts. Are you more of the anabolic crew? I would say I'm like, um, I'm like a 25% anabolic lifestyle. So I'm, I'm not fully, fully anabolic, but partially the way there. Or are you more of just like a clean eater? You like to stick to the basic food groups. Let me know where you're at along the spectrum. But thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I mean, you could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Do not forget to turn on those post notifications, and I look forward to talking to y'all next time.